Hello guys, you're welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so today I'm bringing you something very, very interesting. I'm going to be showing you step by step. When I say step by step, I mean practically step by step, how you can transform this image from this something this flat to something quite amazing, just like you are seeing the results right here. So I'm not even sure entirely where the image is going to draw to, but we we'll did it from the scratch. The only thing is that in this video, we are going to be using done for you retouch action just to hasten up the retouching and get straight into the manipulation of the background. So if you have this kind of images that you don't really know how you can transform, this video is for you. Make sure you stick to the end because we are giving out, giving out a lot that we are going to be using to color grade the picture or the image at the end of the day. So let's get started quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is to crop my image 8 by 10 and I'm going to give it all the space that I want. Just exactly the same way I would have wanted it to be if the photographer shot it. If I'm to shoot the image just the same way I would have wanted the size to be and all of that. So this is exactly what I'm going to go for. Yeah, so that will have a lot of space. I'm going to press enter. So if you notice, I did not turn on my content away because I want to do everything manually. So first off, I'm going to use my close stamp to clean up this floor. Just over here. Yeah. Just like that. Then secondly, I'm going to pick up my market tool and do a lot of stretching on the background. So what I did is just I basically pressed Ctrl T after marking, making the selection just like this. So just make your selection like this. Press Ctrl T. Hold your shift and drag it and it's going to stretch the pixel. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. So the reason I'm stretching this pixel is that I'm not going to be needing it at the end of the day. So there's no need preserving the details. So press Ctrl T, do the same thing. Just repeat this same process or procedure in all areas that you want to stretch out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go to my fill. Yeah, right click, go to fill content aware and press OK. So just wait for it to clean it up. Okay, so once you are done, you are good. So this is one of the first major steps you need to take in making sure that you have a clean background. Just stretch things out, give your image space so that you can see where to scale in and scale out your background when you place it. So this obviously looks more balanced than the eye that when you bring it too close and you don't even have space to manipulate your background. So secondly, I'm going to quickly go to my done for you retouch action. So I'm going to probably keep it around one here. Yeah? Press OK and wait for it to clean up the image. Then we'll move straight to the background. All right, so done for you is done. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Quick retouching just like that. I will zoom out to make sure it's not touching anywhere. We do not want it. OK, it's just on the background. Ah, it's not a big deal. We are good. So I'm going to flatten this out. Of course, this is not a retouching video. So you saw what that it was an amazing job. OK, so let's quickly make a selection of the background of the image. Ah. So after cleaning up your background, just go to your quick selection tool. Yeah, go to select subject and wait for it. So once your object is selected, make sure you press Ctrl Shift I to invert the selection. Make a duplicate of the background by dragging it into this plus icon over here. Right click on your image and press layer via cut. Very important. Hold your control key or right click on the image to reload the selection. Reselect load selection or hold your control key. Click on this box to reload the selection. Then blur the background out until it becomes fine and smooth. So until you lose all these details, blur it out. Block. So if this is not giving you a very nice job, you can try field block. But I think I like this, the one I have here already. I like the one I have here. Press OK. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Make sure that your object layer is above and your uh, background layer is below. Your object layer above, your background layer is beneath, is below. Sorry. So let's quickly find the background that we're going to use. Okay, so I found us a background. This is the one we're going to use. So I'm going to unlock the layer and drag it over to this place. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, nice. So place it exactly where, look at the background. Place it exactly where you know her neck is going to be. That's one of the quickest ways to find your anchor point. So just place it here, then place your anchor point there. Place your anchor point there, and then scale it out from there. 
like this. Yeah, beautiful. So if you think it's too much or probably it's not properly aligning, because I notice that if I stretch, if I scale in a little bit more, she will start hanging. This is exactly where she touched the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up a little more and now scale in a little bit. Yeah, beautiful. So once you have it scaled in, I think the image was shot a little bit from the ground. So I'm going to just manipulate the perspective a little, just slightly by pressing your control and clicking at this point, just to change the perspective here, to assume the same perspective she is assuming. So once you do that, press OK and change your blend mode to overlay. I know you guessed that, like this beautiful. So imagine the level of transformation of cost just Quickly look at that before, after, before, after. So to make things look even a bit more realistic, go back to your up to your background layer, create a mask for it, take up your brush, and uh, reveal that layer, reveal it. Yeah, reveal the layer, just like this. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to restore some original shadows that the image had. Yeah, so just reveal the layer. All those original shadows are going to pull up again. So look at the floor. Let me show you the before and after what I just did. So this is in without the reviewed layer. This is in with the reviewed layer. So you notice that it's bringing in a little bit more contact and shadow into the image. To even make things a bit more beautiful for you, select the background, pick up your market tool, your rectangular market tool, make a selection of the background from behind, but avoid the floor. Create a, a, a feather the selection rather with somewhere around six. This is just to make it very soft. And you can decide to reduce the brightness just to make her stand out from the background. Yeah, something like that. You can even infuse a color into it by using your color lookup table to see if there's anything that will bring more drama. Clip it or rather press control to copy this mask and place it over here so that it will avoid the floor. So you can now start changing your color lookup to see if there's any more drama you can pull up from there. So I love this. We can actually reduce the opacity of this just to make her very much separated from the background because i noticed she's the same color with the background so it's more like we're losing her into the background so you can just move stuffs around yeah this is beautiful just change your blend modes your uh what do they call it your color lookup tables filter to see the one that suits more you can even decide to deactivate the mask to see if it looks better without the mask which i think it does which I think it does. So quickly, let's do a global color grading and that is by using our lots. So I'm going to go quickly grab the lots that will be given out to you for free. So I'm going to go to load 3D lots. So this is our lots down here. So I'm going to just pick any of them to see the one that will look, oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. You know what? We can actually decide to mix it up. So I'm going to create one more color lookup table. Yeah, load another one. Change it to 3DL to see it. Go to PGA one. Let's see what that does for us. This is also good. Man, this is beautiful. I like the air fuel it brings in. I like the air fuel it brings into the image. So let's see the last one to see what exactly it's going to do for us. The last one. Beautiful. So just reduce the opacity. Zoom in to see the effect. Yeah. So I think this is practically too much for my image. I'm going to delete this and probably do a little adjustment by myself. So I'm going to go to my uh, color balance. Yeah, go to my color balance into the shadows. I'll try to pull in something more like a cyan color into my shadows like that. Just slightly. Then into my highlights, probably make it warm. Let's see how that goes. I think I like it cooler. Then for my mid-tones, do a very just few slider movements and we'll get exactly what we want i love this one so to get to give it a a, a little bit of more global effect we'll go to our photo filter very important and add a cooling effect to it reduce the opacity beautiful beautiful so i'm going to create a sun visible layer for all of this and do the last thing so i want to pop some colors create some vignette effect and to do all of that i'm going to go to my camera raw Head straight to my camera roll, go to my calibration, just a very quick color grading, increase the saturation slightly. Yeah, change the temperature, maybe make it a little bit warmer, lift up the shadows a little. Okay, so go, go to your effects down here 
add a little vignette effect to the image. So if you feel you have a lot of noise, this is where you can as well change it. Go to your details, increase a little, add a little bit of noise reduction, increase the sharpening a little, a little of color noise reduction, and we are good to go. So press OK, see the transformation quickly. Beautiful. Look at that effect before, after, before, after. So we're able to bring even more attention into the image. And this is all you have to do. I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video, the background that we use in this video, we are only giving it out to you for free. You are getting the background for free. You are getting the color lookup tables for free. Of course, by now you must have seen the password to download, to use and unlock your file when you download it. I believe so much that you enjoyed this video. So we are running a program that allows photographers to send us their images. We record it live here on YouTube and we give them the shout out that they need to get. So go to the description of the video. You are going to see the name of the person that shot this image. Go straight into his handles and see the amazing work that he is doing right there. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we'll drop a new video so let me quickly show you the before and after of everything so this is before this is after this is before this is after amazing transformation that we have here thank you for watching see you some other time